Falling Behind by Leve. It's a bossa nova beat. We're gonna, we're gonna, well, there's a saying about Abraham Lincoln, something about sharpening an axe and then cutting down a tree. And he spent like three days sharpening an axe and then a half a second cutting down a tree. I might be getting that, that, that quote wrong a little bit, but what I'm, the, what I, the point I'm trying to make is we're gonna spend a bit of time just on the picking pattern. That's gonna be a little bit of, that's gonna be some heavy lifting or some heavy axe sharpening. No. No, no reason for me to start the video like this. I do this every time, and I blame you. you. Not all of you. I'm not talking to all of you out there. I'm just, I'm just talking to you. Y you know who I'm talking to. It's your fault. Pointer finger, standard tune, no capo. Pointer finger, fifth fret, top string. Did I say what the song is? Falling Behind by Leve. Yeah, I said that. Because I'm always, every time I say Leve, I'm so proud of myself that I know how to pronounce it correctly. Pointer fingers on the fifth fret of the top string. Middle fingers on the fifth fret of the third string from the top. Ring finger is on the fifth fret of the third string from the bottom. Pinky's on the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom. Like this. Now, the way that she actually does it, she uses her pointer finger, just smashes down on everything. I think it's great. I'm, I'm really happy for her. I'm really, really happy for her. I like to do it this way. So you're just gonna deal with it. This is an A minor seven chord. We're gonna play this so many times. Look, I have my little cheat sheet here. Look at all these A minor sevens, you guys. A minor seven, and I know we've been over this before. That's not what my regular handwriting it is. I, I, my handwriting just looks like that when I'm writing things down quickly. If I was making a presentation for you, like if, for instance, if I was writing something down that I was gonna show to the camera for thousands of people to see, then I wouldn't write it like that. That's just my own personal way of doing it. Our picking is gonna go like this. Over here, have your thumb sit on the top string, have your pointer finger grabbing the bottom of the third string from the top, middle finger grabbing the bottom of the third from the bottom, and ring finger bottom of the second from the bottom. So we've got like that, guys. Pinky's not doing anything. This pinky, your, your right hand pinky, totally worthless. If you have a chance to sell it for like 200 bucks, just do it and make 200 bucks. You're never gonna use this pinky for anything. There's only one thing you use it for. If you're holding like your phone or a water bottle and you go like this, that's the only thing it's good for. 250 bucks. Here's the picking we're doing. We're going like this. So on the A minor, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna go pinch your fingers and your thumb together, then do just fingers, then go thumb, thumb. So it's like this. Pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb. And pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb. Play with me. Pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb. One more time. And pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb. Great job, guys. Then you're gonna do fingers again. So now we've got pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb, fingers. Hey, pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb, fingers. Hey, right after we do that A minor thing, we do our pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb, fingers. Then we're gonna switch chords, but it's just a tiny little switch. We're going from an A minor seven to a D nine chord. Here's how you do that. You get rid of your pointer finger. Move your middle finger up to the fifth fret of the second string from the top, and then put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the top. D nine chord, guys. It's, it's, these two fingers don't move at all. Look at that, look at that switch. That's such a nice switch, I love it. On this chord, you're gonna do fingers and then your thumb is gonna play the second string from the top and then you're gonna do fingers again, I think right away. Let's see, we go. Yeah, you see that? So it's pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb, fingers, switch, fingers, thumb, fingers. When you put it all together, it sounds like this. Then we're gonna do fingers one more time. So that's fingers, fingers, and then we're gonna do pinch, pinch. So all four together, your three fingers and your thumb. And I, I, I know, this picking is intense, but it's very fun. It's very repetitive too. Once you get this main pattern, it's gonna be great. This is the classic bossa nova picking pattern. One, two, from the A minor, very slow. Pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb, fingers, switch. Fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, pinch. Pinch. Whoa! How'd you do? Let's do it one more time very slowly. One, two, three, four. And pinch, finger, 
fingers, thumb, thumb, fingers. Switch, be that. Oh, sorry. That kind of mess. I mean, like, I played it right, but I my calling out the instructions got all messed up. Next, next, we're going to go to a G major seven chord. G major seven chord, guys. Pointer finger, third fret, top string. You're not going to play the A string, the second string from the top at all. Ring finger plays the fourth fret, third string from the top. Pinky. Fourth fret, third string from the bottom. Middle finger, third fret, second string from the bottom. G major seven chord. You are going to go like this. You're gonna, your thumb goes back up to the top string. We're gonna go pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers. I think, oh God, that was confusing. Yeah, so we're going pinch, fingers, thumb, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, okay? Just do that. Trust. Just trust me. Just play along. I'm gonna do it a few times in a row. Just, just try to do it with me. One, two, here we go. And pinch fingers, thumb, thumb fingers, fingers, thumb fingers, fingers, thumb. Oh. One more time. Pinch fingers, thumb, thumb fingers, fingers, thumb fingers, fingers, thumb. I know I added a thumb that I didn't tell you about, but whatever. We're gonna play that thumb. Then you're just gonna play fourth fret on the top string with your thumb. So that was third fret, fourth fret at the end. That was a lot of hard work. We're not, I, I know you don't have that rhythm mastered yet. It's okay. We're still gonna we're still gonna practice the rhythm a little bit. We're still gonna review it a little bit. Uh, but I would like to tell you that you now know the rhythm for the whole song, and you know up the chords that make up like 90% of the song. Look, I was A minor seven, D9, and G major seven. Look. A minor set. A, look, 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 look at all of the A minors and the. Uh, there's a B minor. Okay, but look, there's uh, look, there's stuff here. There's all this stuff. Okay, now let, let's play this whole pattern all the way through very slowly. One, two, three, four, and pinch fingers, thumb, thumb fingers. Oh, pinch, pinch, then the G major seven. Four starts over. Now, I would like to tell you that if you play a slightly different rhythm, like if something goes a little bit wrong, you don't do fing you do a pinch instead of a fingers, you do a fingers instead of a pinch. I think it's gonna be okay, guys. I'm personally gonna forgive you, and I think Leve is gonna forgive you as well. When did you do it fast? It sounds super sweet. It sounds like this. Like that. Sounds like the song. That wasn't even that fast. I mean, I could play faster. Do you want me to play faster? I mean, I could do it. It's just like with these strings, like these, I, you know, like if I was playing on my, on my real guitar, I could probably play it really fast. I'm also like, I need to get a little more sleep and I need to like, you know, I didn't warm up either, but I can play it so much faster than that. So that's the intro. For the intro, you play that two times all the way through. Then we get to the verse. Guess what the first thing that happens to the verse is when she starts singing. You just do that exact same thing two more times. Just the A minor seven to the D nine to the G minor seven. Then the second half, you do that two times in the verse. Second half goes like this. It's not even a big deal, guys. We go like this. We play the first part again. But then we go to a B minor seven. So that is you just have your A minor seven, but you move it one, two frets up. So now you're on seven on top, skip the next one, then seven, seven, seven. Do the same picking. And then you're gonna switch to an E9, you guys, which is like this. It's the exact same little switch that we did going from the A minor seven to the D9. So all you have to do, you're on the seventh fret, Get rid of your pointer finger, move your middle finger, seventh fret, second string from the top, move your pointer finger, sixth fret, third string from the top, and we're gonna go like this. Uh, thumb fingers, and then you're gonna go like this. Back to the B minor seven, pinch all those together, and then go to the sixth fret and pinch them all together. And then you're gonna go down to the A minor seven. So here's what just happened, guys. We went A minor seven, D nine, then B minor seven. Then uh, uh, uh. then we're gonna go like this. We're at the A minor seven, we're gonna go. Our 
regular picking on the A minor seven, then do the regular picking on the A minor seven again. Then we're gonna switch to a D7 flat nine chord. So go to your D9 chord, the same chord we've done many times today. Get rid of your pinky, and then your pointer finger has to smash down on the bottom four strings on the fourth fret, and you're gonna go like this. I'm just going thumb, pointer, middle, ring. I'm just playing each string one at a time. We've got what, what I'm going to call a fermata. What's a fermata? It's Italian for fermata. I have no idea what it's Italian for, but it means hold this note out for a while. So we're going like this, we're going. And then it goes into the chorus of the song. So let's play the whole verse all the way through. Verse all the way through goes like this. Uh, uh, again. D9. Then, oh, I almost messed that up. Uh, uh, then starts again. Then we go to the B minor. Then ba ba ba, stay on A minor. Then there's a D7 flat nine chord. Are you ready to learn the chorus to the song Falling Behind by Leve? You're never gonna believe how the chorus starts. The chorus starts with an A minor seven going to a D9, then to a G major seven, but, but, it uses the exact same picking pattern that we've already used. So basically what I'm saying is the chorus starts out exactly the same as the verse. So we go. And we do this thing, that little three, four thing. Then we go like this. We go back to the A minor seven, to the D nine. Then though, we go to a B minor seven. We've already done that before. That was a seventh fret one. Then we go to the E9, same one we've done, we did before. Just that little switcherunio. We go back to the A minor seven. We're gonna stay on the A minor seven twice this time. Okay, then we're gonna go, then something different. We go like this. So what that is there, we did the A minor seven twice. Then we went to the D9 chord, the same D9 chord we've known and loved earlier in the song. You're gonna just pinch those four together, pinch one time, slide it down to the fourth fret, just one fret over, pinch them together again. That's a D flat nine chord. Then you're gonna slide it one more fret over to the third fret. This is a C9 chord. You're gonna play that one. This one you hold out for two beats though. So it's like one, two, one, two, like that. Then we're gonna go down to the B9 chord. So you slide another fret to the second fret. We're gonna go a regular picking pattern on this one. We're gonna go. Then finally a brand new chord, you guys. We have an E, it's like an E flat 13 chord. It's kind of weird. Here's what you do. You go to a plain old regular E chord. Do you know that one? It's a middle finger, second fret, second string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the top, pointer finger, first fret, on the third string from the bottom, but I would like you to also smash your pointer finger down onto the first fret of the next string as well. So we have first fret on the second to bottom string and we're gonna go, thumb goes up to the top string and you go. That was just like pinch fingers, thumb fingers, fingers or something like, I, I don't know, it's so fast you guys. And we're like. Yeah, I'm just going ba ba to ka ba ba bo ga ga. It's an ugly chord. That's okay, it's supposed to be hideous. Mm, we're pretty much, we're almost done. Okay, after that, you just do the A minor seven to the D nine to the G major seven again. And then I think we're done with the, with the chorus. Is that right? I don't know, I'm confused. I got it all figured out. After we do that weird E seven flat 13 thing, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go A minor seven. Then we're just gonna play the D9 chord one time. And that's when she sings Falling Behind. And then we go. And then we get into the, we start the whole thing over again. So let's play the chorus all the way through together. One, two, three, four. A 
minor, sorry for that buzzy note. Then up to the seventh fret. Then A minor twice. Then here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Then everybody's falling in love. I'm falling rehind. Rehind. I wanted to say something funny there, and what came out was. I'm falling rehind. So then they start the whole song over again. They do literally everything. Intro, verse, chorus, everything over again. And then when we finish the chorus the second time, or we have a little tag ending, you guys. We add this on at the end. We go A minor 7 with the regular picking. Then to the D9, regular thing. Then, But then we go to the B minor 7. That was the 7th fret one. Then we go to an E9. We've talked about this, you guys. That's where you just go like this. You have a B minor 7. You go to the E9. You're just going to do a nice, slow little... We, we retardando here. We slow way down. And then we're going to go back to the B minor 7. And very slowly and gently, we play 7th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret. We're back to the A minor 7. Then you go to the D9. Then we're gonna go to the D flat nine. That's where you get rid of your pinky, smash down your pointer finger. I'm falling. Rehind. And then I know she goes, one, two, three, four. Then we start back in again. She just does the regular chords again. We're not going to worry about that. 